G'day guys, Robert from Outback Equipment. You may be wondering why I'm standing in front of the OE Tinny. Today we're actually doing a review and a product test on our marine grade salty Captain aluminium launch. We're gonna test how far this actually goes. We've got our applicator bottle there, which is about 1.5 liters. We'll jump in the boat. We're gonna give it a full detail on the inside of the hull, cleaning up our aluminium. All right guys, getting things underway. As you can see, we've stripped the tinny pretty much down to a bare bone. Removing all your seats, your cushions, anything that may cause obviously damage to the material with this acid wash. So with the ratio of your salty captain aluminum wash, it is a seven to one part. So meaning approximate 1.5 liters of water we'll be using in our applicator. You'll be using approximately 200 mils of your chemical. As you can see in front of us, we've got our two combi detailing brushes. Difference between the two, as you can see straight away, this one's your hard bristle. So this is the majority of the one we're gonna be using today. And then you've got your soft tip brush. So generally you're gonna be using a lot of these ones in the situation of your polished aluminum rims, painted hulls and things like that. So we're not gonna be obviously scratching up the hull. But at today's job, we're gonna be majority using this particular brush. All right, guys, I just want to quickly point out why we use an applicator. With your dilating of this down, you do need obviously a container or a bucket. This is going to help us apply even coat or iron the aluminium and provide a consistent sort of clean throughout the hole. Want to dilate this down to a fine mist that'll give us a, the nicer finish. All right, guys, now we've sprayed our small uh, area there. We're just going to be working in confined little areas for the time being letting that soak in there for a good probably 10 15 seconds letting that absolute penetrate your aluminium and i'm going to get straight in there with our detailing brush as you can see that's done a fantastic job there you can just see where we sprayed at the top there and missed that top section that brush is fantastic guys that's really getting right into the actual aluminium it's come up really nice and, and given us that nice polished finish I just want to quickly point out before you get too carried away as you see we've done majority half of this side of the hull now in terms of the side of the gunnel and pocket i just want to quickly point out if you're getting too far ahead of yourself and you don't have your water close on by hand just keep an eye on obviously how long your actual chemical is sitting on your aluminium as you can see we originally did the front side of this bench seat first top side next and you can see the streaks are where that overspray was and where it sat there for probably just a fraction too long so reason why we don't obviously want this chemical sitting around for too long it's going to take that aluminium shine away and it's actually going to make the aluminium turn white so just be cautious with that and just take your time doing it smaller sort of sections and make sure you're washing it down All right guys, so we've finished the wash down with our Salty Captain Marine Aluminium Cleaner. Overall review on this particular one is a big thumbs up. It is a time consuming job guys, so make sure you're taking the time to wash it down in that small sort of sections. So also using our combi brushes guys, the only one we did have to use for this particular application was our Strong Bristle Brush, which done a fantastic job. Again, just being mindful of your wraps, your plastic, and things like that obviously guys, your decal. If you're unsure, just quickly wash it down with a hose. So if you've got any questions revolving around the product, make sure you leave all the comments and questions down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.